Okay, let's start with court spacing. Between 1 and 2 is 1. Between 2 and 3 is 2. And between 3 and 4 is 3. 1, 2, 3. I was asked by one of the viewers to use numbers instead of letters. They found it a little bit confusing, so let's try it out. All right, thanks a lot. All right, this is the Stingray, and it's by yours truly. And the origin of the knot is basically from a modified shark jawbone by Ray Edio. So let's start out um, by understanding the modified shark jawbone. So. I have my right cord. This one I'm going to use, which is basically going to be like the teeth of the shark. It's going to be along the edge, and this one is going to run along the center. So the first thing we do is basically grab. Uh, you could start either side, so let's start with the right side. I'm going to grab my right cord. I'm going to go down three, and I'm going to pull cord left, and above the left cord. Now I'm going to grab my right cord. I'm going to come over the core and down through three. And then I'm going to start pulling. So this is the modified shark jawbone. I'm going to grab my leading cord again. Go down one go under the core, out to the right, and above the cord on the left. I'm going to grab my right cord, I'm going to go over the core, and down through one. And let's tighten it up again. Let's do one more. I'm going to grab our right cord, we're going to go down three, under the core and out to the left and it's going to be above the left cord I'm gonna grab our left cord we're gonna go over the core and down through three and this is Ray's wonderful knot modified char drop ball the modified shark jawbone. Uh, look for one of the tutorials. It's a great bracelet. You're going to love it. Alright, so now let's start the stingray. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to be using white as my accent cord. I'm going to put it, in my case, I'm going to put it down the middle and I'm going to keep it right there for now. All right, so let's start. I'm going to grab my right cord. I'm going to go down three and over the cord on the left. Okay, I'm going to grab my left cord. I'm going to go over the core, down through three, and in between the cord on the right. So it's going to be in between the loop. It's going to look something like that. Okay, now I'm going to pull my accent cord out through the loop on the left. And I'm going to go down number two. I'm going to throw the cord to the right. And to the back a little bit. So like that it doesn't interrupt the rest of the knot. Right, so now we tighten. And let's pull our accent cord. Let's push it up. All right, we're going to grab our cord on the left. We're going to go down one. And over the cord on the right. I'm going to grab our right cord. We're going to go over the core down through one in between the cord on the left 
we're gonna form we're gonna form our two loops okay so there we go now we pull our accent cord under and out through the loop on the right and we're gonna go down number two and we're gonna pull it tighten it up a bit and push it to the back okay now we squeeze the rest of the cords let's tighten them up if you notice I'm starting to pull it a little bit slanted and it's so like that this part that I call it the tooth will start coming down more all right so we push it up tighten it let's pull the XM cord a bit and let's go for our next knot I'm gonna grab our right cord we're gonna go down three and over the cord on the left All right we grab our left cord we're gonna go over the core down three and in between the cord on the right All right we're gonna grab our accent cord we're gonna come out through the loop on the left and we're gonna go over the core and down number two I'm gonna pull it and I like throwing it up to the right okay now let's tighten these up Okay, let's push it up and let's pull our accent cord a bit let's do a couple more all right we're gonna grab our left cord we're gonna go down one and over the cord on the right we're gonna grab our right cord over the core and down through one Okay, I'm going to grab our accent cord again, under and out through the loop on the right, and we're going to go down two. Okay, let's tighten it up. All right, now let's pull our cords. And let's push it up. Okay, we're going to pull our accent cord. And keep going till the end of the bracelet. And I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm going to show you how I end the bracelet. All right. Um, the idea of my knots or the Mad Max it's basically to get it all the way to the end where at the each one of these loops I want to have enough room just for a fid so I think we have like two more knots to do so we grab our left cord we go down one and we go over the cord on the right we grab our right cord gonna go over down into one and in between cord on the left okay we keep our loop open pull our accent cord out and we go down number two pull it and tighten it up there now we start pulling our cords let's pull our accent all right we still have room for maybe one or two more so we're gonna grab our right cord we're gonna go down three and over the cord on the left we're gonna grab our left cord we're gonna go over and down through three and remember once again it's gonna be in between the cord on the right form our loop 
grab our accent cord out of the loop on the left and we go down to and we pull it to the right okay now we start pulling our cords and hang on this thing got okay tangled All right let's squeeze and we'll pull our accent cord okay that's pretty much it let's stop there all right now the way i finish it is that i always try to see the direction on where the cords are going so basically the cords are going down and let's pull this off the jig okay so let's grab we want to all right since the cords are facing down we really want to come up with them so i'm going to grab right or left so let's start with the left we're going to grab our left cord we're going to go under and out through three i'm going to pull it just a little bit leave enough room now we're going to grab our right cord we're going to over the cord and out through one. Yeah, so that should be a pretty good ending. So let's tighten this up. Okay, now what you want to do is flip it around. Singe here. Singe over here burn it down and we have our bracelet okay till next time